Are you invented or created? Between invention and creature. Imagine driving a vehicle without its fuels, all combined like engine oil, transmission oil, brake oil, and engine coolant. Imagine owning a cell phone without a network or apps. Both the vehicle and the mobile phone represent the structure, or simply the system, while the fluids and oils are for the vehicle, and the apps and the network are for the cell phone. They all represent fuels. All of them fall within the chain of human inventions under the umbrella of technological developments. Okay, one moment please. What about you? Were you invented or fabricated, as was the case with human inventions and industries? The limits of science and knowledge that humans were able to achieve only fall within the scope of inventions and discoveries. A device, a vehicle, a cell phone, or any other thing made by humans. All of these fall within human limits in industries and inventions. As for nature, no human being can make or invent it. Rather, his limits lie in discovering how nature works and adapting to it. Humans must comply with how nature is created, how it works and how it grows, while merely exploring deeply into the science and knowledge that he has reached to discover that all nature was created and represents the structure, and there are natural fuels that he cannot invent, nor can he make. But these natural fuels are all present around wherever humans live, within the entire umbrella of all what has been created. To such a degree, humans are created, not invented, and so are all the creatures. Simultaneously, the gravest infringements perpetrated by humans were evoked the moment humans began treating nature with what he invented or made, and more catastrophic, mixing creature with invention. There are serious consequences that result of such erroneous actions, such as incurable diseases, pandemics, all kinds of mental and psychological diseases, and natural calamities of all kinds and forms. Every living organism, whatever could be, including human beings themselves, operate precisely and without any errors or any deficiencies, as good as they have their non-living organisms which represent the fuels that they exclusively rely on. Both living and non-living organisms symbolize the entire nature. Apart from human beings, all the living organisms entirely adhere to what we coined the Cosmogenic Systems Laws of Nature CSLN. Unfortunately, humans are hyper-intelligent to the extent they also turn dunderhead. What is really going on in this world? As the case may be, human beings are invisible parts of nature. They are bound to adhere to the Cosmogenic Systems Laws of Nature CSLN, towards protecting themselves from external factors that cause diseases and pandemics such as pathogens, including internal dysfunctions of the immune system resulting to produce a variety of different diseases, including various forms of immunodeficiency, hypersensitivity, allergies and autoimmune disorders, stress, anxiety, depression, physical abnormalities, and most of the dynamics of the aging process. All these deformities are strictly resulted to the infringement of the entire Cosmogenic Systems Laws of Nature CSLN. By looking deep and delicately studying the creation and formation of every human being, we found the manifestation of phenomenal natural fuels during the phases of every human being creation and development precisely occurred with comprehensive accuracy. Humans must adhere fully to continuing to nourish their bodies with all these natural fuels which through biological, biochemical and biophysical studies of humans derive from what we coined the four essential elements of life, F-E-E-L-S. All of them come from a single and exceptional source, Hakwa, which is generally known as hot water, not lukewarm, cold, iced, or boiled, but rather particularly hot. 
On the other hand, if human beings intend to live an ideal life, and if the world wants to live healthy in all their physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and social aspects of health, PEMSS, every human being and the world at large should avoid mixing personal, political, social, cultural, and ethnic interests with Hakwa Revitalized Therapy, H-A-R-T, Hakwapathic Medicine, H-A-M, or simply hakwapathy. To this extent, the world will be able to avoid pandemics and human diseases, but rather to achieve a more decent life for the whole world and the prosperity of all humanity. All intellectual property rights reserved to Faris Alhajri, PhD AM, founder of Hakwa Revitalized Therapy, HART, Hakwapathic Medicine, HAM, or simply hakwapathy. 2007 to 2021. Hakwa Wellness, Blacksburg, Virginia, USA. Hakwawellness.com. Ferris Alhajri.com.